25 days into the new year and already nearly a dozen homicides in Cleveland. And Lee, one councilman has said he's had enough and has a plan to stop the violence before more lives are lost. News Channel 5's Frank Wiley was at City Hall tonight as that plan was laid out. Yeah, ladies, what happened is a plea to change things quickly, starting with more officers on the streets. For now, the gunfire has stopped, but this city councilman argues that the heartache has just begun. Nearly a dozen homicides in 25 days. We can no longer continue at this pace. Zach Reed said the problem is widespread and has now reached downtown. Tonight, he's pushing a plan that involves your pocketbook. In the last four years in the city of Cleveland, we've averaged 100 homicides per year. His three-tier proposal calls for $250,000 to go toward the Peacemaker Alliance program, dash cameras in all Cleveland police cars, and a city tax increase from 2% to 2.5%. Well, that obviously won't happen this year. Reed pointed his remarks toward Mayor Jackson. A few tables, plans, and disagreements separate the two. Those who wait on or look for panaceas to solve problems are usually naive or deceptive. You could imagine what Reed thought about whatever Mayor Jackson's plan, which will come soon, may offer. If it does not have a legitimate violent prevention plan in it, this city council should reject it on its face. Round one of a fight to stop the violence. Zach Reed's plan also calls for body cameras on all cops and surveillance cameras in every neighborhood. Now, the mayor is expected to bring his budget for boy first. Anita?